Joining us tonight for Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Joe Khalil. And I'm Allie Wolf. A wildfire in Tehama County exploding in size to 2,500 acres, forcing evacuations as three other fires burn in the Northern California region. Dennis Shanahan also tracking triple digits across the board locally. Yeah, but first, the heat not only causing those wildfire concerns, also sending people in droves to our local waterways. And trouble was averted today on the American River near a popular river party that it's had some trouble in the past, and Fox 40's Doug Johnson's live for us on that tonight from Rancho Cordova. Doug, we had some bad news yesterday, almost another tragic situation tonight. Yeah, almost, Joe. That's the key word there. Now, Rangers say it certainly uh, was not as crowded today as it has been at uh, Rafting God and Wild events in the past, but they said they were still pretty busy. Marie! On a hot day like this. Yeah, it's definitely warm today. A plunge into the American River feels. It feels great. Renee Williams is one of hundreds looking to escape the heat here. And one of my friends, she made a post like a couple of hours ago this morning, and I was like, you know what? Let me get everybody together and like jam out. So now we're here. That social media rally call, some of which has come from the Facebook group Rafting Gone Wild, is exactly why Sacramento County Park Rangers were out in force. Not as busy as years past, but it was it was fairly large. I think. Uh, one of the rafting companies had over 200 rafts uh, rented out today. Around 4.30, those rangers, firefighters, deputies, and DART members were put to the test. Everybody was in total shock. Like, it was scary. Everybody got out the water for a while, too. A 29-year-old male swimmer was reported missing. His friends feared him drowned. Emergency crews wasted no time. But soon, rangers located him on the shore. People just didn't see him with the group. They saw him go out in the water, and some didn't see him come back. Some didn't see him walk up. They were just afraid that he might have gone under. A false alarm, but rangers say the response was necessary. With an eight-year-old drowning in the Sacramento River Friday, parents like Kristen Stevens are certainly on edge. You need to wear life jackets at all times. Watch your children at all times. Do not leave one eye off of them. You know, rangers say they did not ban alcohol today like they have at past rafting on wild events. It does generate revenue for the rafting companies as well. We don't want to hurt their business. Meanwhile, you know, Williams brought more than just booze, but she says her friends are being careful, only leaving her rafts in life vests. Huh? Yeah, it's a mellow day, lots of family, like, the, you know, sunshine, ducks out, so it's going to be a good day. We're going to have fun. And yeah, Rangers tell us uh, they did have to make one arrest for public intoxication because a gentleman was starting fights on Gilligan's Island, which is a popular stop, uh, spot to stop here on the American River. Reporting live in Sacramento County tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thanks so much. Now